stycke för CD media. Eh, vad vad är er skillnaden mellan en musiker och en komponist i samtidigt mus- eh, ja, nej, kanske på ja. Jag tar det på engelsk då. What is the difference or what is the uh, the interval to use a, use a musical term between uh, a musician in this case Rolf Erik and uh, a composer in this case me um, in this piece we we will try to investigate this or or measure this in two ways first firstly first I am now I am now lying in my bed at my home, marker 58, and I will walk the route to Rolf Erik and, and record all everyday sounds. And this uh, this uh, this amount of reality, that is the interval, uh, and and the piece of the and the length of the piece is determined by the length of of this walk. And uh, and when I meet Rolf Erik, this will be a kind of union. Uh, the second way of investigating this matter, or this and, uh, interval, yeah. is to, in an empirical, scientific way, measure details of the everyday of both persons, from the 15th of December 2004 to the 15th of January 2005, and expose these data simultaneously. 15th of December. of the sem- After some consideration, I find it necessary at this point in the piece to explain how this music was conceived so that you, the listener, are able to better appreciate the concept and sharpen your listening. The explanation will be in English to help our international careers. I have always had the idea that Rolf Erik leads a rock and roll kind of life. How does this compare to mine? Every day during a period of one month, Rolf Erik and I wrote down certain statistical data concerning our daily life like wake up time, how many hours of working and practicing, amount of alcohol consumed, etc. The data of Rolf Eriks every day was used to compose the alto saxophone solo part. The data of the composers every day was used to compose the music of the rest of the ensemble. The 17th of December. The starting pitch of the saxophone in each section is determined by Rolf Erik's wake-up time. A low pitch means an early wake-up, a high pitch means a late wake-up. The amount of Rolf Erik's practicing each day determines number of different subsections, each with its own type of material in the saxophone part for that day. The harmonic complexity and the ambitus or pitch range of the ensemble is determined by the composer's wake-up time. High complexity and a wide frequency range means early wake-up, while a low complexity and a narrow range means a late wake-up. The tempos are determined by the amount of hours practicing plus amount of alcohol entities consumed on the specified day. In other words, sum of work and pleasure or amount of general human activity. A high amount of general human activity will give a high tempo. A low amount of human activity will give a low tempo. The listener can, from day to day, compare the human activity interval between the musician and the composer. In the CD booklet, you can view a detailed table which shows how the statistical everyday data was mapped to sound. 18th of December.
20th of December. Fifth of September. Twenty sixth of December. Seventh of December. Twenty eighth of December. December. One more thing, as a kind of loneliness parameter, the musician and the composer every day wrote down how many people they met. When this number was zero, a quartet of crumhorns, which you are now hearing, should be added to the ensemble. The length is determined by amount of melancholy. The musical style is that of a lamento. Thirtieth of December. Thirty-first 
31st of September. <laughs> First of January. <laughs> Second of January. <laughs> Third of January. Fourth of January. Of January, fifth of January, sixth of January. January. Ninth of January. of St. January. Eleventh of January. of January. Thirteenth of January. Twentieth of February. Thank you.
15th of January. Hallå. Hallå Trond. Kan jag komma in? Uh, ok då. Om du inte syns det är kipp med massa kaos. Ah, oh, I have to speak English. Yes. Hello, Trond. How is your new piece doing? At the union. No, this is the union. This is the union of what? Of a composer and musician. Yes. The end of the piece. So yeah. let's go and have some wine. Are you? Thanks for your attention. Post it. Hi. She's always here in some sense or the other. This is a very. But I, this piece is quite edited, and I think I have, I have had a firm grip on everything, and it is a little unfair. So I thought I give the ending to you. Okay. So I, I can say something big. Yeah, or you can. Except that I. Can change form the piece. Except that I like my ex-girlfriend very much. And uh, except all that, I I don't know. Those otherwise life is pretty good, pretty damn good. <laughs> is that okay? Is that uh, is that enough? Okay. Getting old, getting thirty. He's about actually, except me. <laughs> I hope it's about me. Ah, it is. <laughs> 